Hey there folks, welcome to this video and here I'm going to be talking about more WRC news. Well, actually we're going to be talking about WRC 2, the support series for the WRC. As this morning Hyundai unveiled their WRC 2 program for 2020. A latest spec 20 edition i20R5. Yep, that's definitely a bit of a mouthful. We'll uh, feature in at least 8 events this season with a lineup of 2 drivers, Ole Christian Baby and Nikolai Gryzhen. This team will be entered by the recently renamed Red Grey team, and I'll be talking about them in particular in a moment. But first, let's talk about the two drivers. Let's talk about um, OC Vaby, and let's talk about Gryzhen. Now, OC Vaby is somebody who is not really much of a stranger to the WRC. Um, Skoda, Volkswagen, has had some pretty good competition over the past few years, and is definitely one of the up-and-coming youngsters from Norway. Whereas Nikolai Gryzhen, well, he's been quite fascinated to see burst onto the scene. Um, whether it's under the Russian flag, such as when I saw Gryzhen at World Rally GB, or previously under, say, the Latvian flag, because he's a driver a lot like Calero from Pera, who has been driving for quite a while, despite being such a young age. It's going to be quite interesting to see how they um, work whether they work as a team or whether they work as individuals. Um, and they're both fast talents. They have both performed quite well in WRC2 last season. And both of them could be argued to be a bit surprising to be signed by Hyundai for their WRC2 lineup. Firstly, because Hyundai have a good pool of drivers who've been developing the R5, including Andreas Mikkelsen and Craig Breen, who aren't in the works lineup. Though, of course, they've been rumoured to be part of some kind of Hyundai B team, which we still haven't properly seen any kind of formalisation of yet. Also, in addition to this, both of them seem quite set in the cars they were driving last season. Um, they be in the Polo, and Gryzhen in the Fabia, and then later the Fabia Evo. So to see them get into a works deal with Hyundai was also a bit surprising to me. But it's a good call by Hyundai, I'd say. They're looking at their current lineup and they're looking at how um, Toyota is signing people like Calero from Pera. Um, they're looking at how waiting in the wings at Emsport they've got a variety of different drivers. And this is Hyundai's attempt to try and be Emsport. I mean, I remember a few years ago when Hyundai had their young driver program where they picked Yari Hutenen um, over someone like Calero from Pera. And you could argue that maybe that was a mistake, but hindsight is an all important thing. I mean, I would have argued that Calero would have been the best choice back then, but we could know, <laughs> we could know, we could potentially not know of some backroom dealings. Sorry, I'm very tired, it's been a long day. However, what I do want to point out is this red grey team, formerly known as MM Motorsport or Marco Martin Motorsport. Yeah, um, the Estonian team of Marco Martin. And in particular the reason why I want to point out the red grey team is because of a rumour. A rumour that started when Oi Tanak was leaving Toyota. Which was that Tanak and Martin wanted some share of the upcoming Yaris R5 project or that Martin also did. Now, Martin refuted this and said this was made up by the particularly the Finnish press. However, the fact that Hyundai's customer team for the WRC2 is, well, Marco Martin's, does raise a couple of eyebrows. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on that issue. Um, if you did enjoy this, especially if you don't agree with me, make sure to hit the like button, it really helps me out and helps boost my metrics. Um, if you want to stick around for more kind of motorsport content, potentially some sim racing content, hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.